There you are. Good morning, sweet boy. Good morning. It's far too cold. Every time he um, steps outside, he literally runs back in. And I love him at this time of year because he loves being out, don't you? You're Mr. Sociable. Yes, you are. Oh. I love you. I love you. I always give Tommy some dedicated loving time. It's so important, even when it's busy. Even when it's super busy, we cannot forget about Tommy, can we? I've been so guilty of that in the past. Just being so busy running around and he just sits there feeling neglected, don't you? Are you looking at yourself? Are you looking at your beautiful face? Or are you looking at me? He makes these grunting noises. My favorite place to kiss him is his eye. I don't know why. He's a lovely boy. Yes. Tommy's the loveliest boy in the land. Well, good morning, everybody. I am well rested after the madness of the day yesterday. I was delirious by the end of the day. I literally didn't stop. I think I filmed three videos, three reels, put up the tree. I can't even remember, but I was knackered. But as I said, I'm well rested and it's the daylight. And now you can see the tree. And I think that we did a pretty good job. The swan's still up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that that is my grandma, <laughs> this swan, <laughs> watching over us at Christmas. Um, and you know what I was saying about like zhuzhing it? I don't think we need to. I'm thinking that looks pretty good. If anything, I probably want to get a few more small ones. I know I said that I put all the small ones at the top, but I've learnt that I need small lighter ones just for the ends, so it's not too green. Oh, and so many of you said do the burgundy ribbon thing, so I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna order it. The only thing is, is you're supposed to put the ribbon on before the decorations, so we'll see how that goes, but I'll order some some ribbon, and we also put out, I forgot to show you, or I think the, the bit of footage deleted, I don't know what I was doing last night, but we also put out the Stuart Tartan blankets from the Tartan Blanket Company. We've got ours there, and Tommy's, Tommy's not using his, are you? But it's there. In fact, Tommy needs a little blankie, doesn't he? What's he doing with his arm? <laughs> He always needs a little blanket. You need a little blanket because you've got to be cosy, don't you? No, good boy. Tommy's got to be cosy. That's Tommy, all cosy. Um, so yeah, that's the tree. I think we did a good job. And um, I think I did a great job. Oh, here she comes. Look what's in her hand. Green juice. <laughs> yeah. What's behind the green juice? My chocolates. No, she's got the advent calendars. I could see, I completely forgot about the advent calendars. But Stefania. I think green juice and she chocolate never forgets. goes oh, well. Oh, my green juice is over there as well, but. Do you want it? No, I, I, can't, I can't drink them quick enough. I need new slippers. That's what you need for Christmas. I think you should throw them away. I'll give you some slippers. You can join me actually if you'd like. I'm doing a little. I haven't told them actually. Tommy, I love you. Basically today, I wanted to unbox um, some, no, not the advent calendar. Well, we're gonna do that quickly now and see what our day twos are. But I wanted to do like a sustainable jewelry, um, like unboxing try on, as I know at this time of year, a lot of people wanna buy themselves or other people jewelry. So I've got some really wonderful pieces that I wanna show you. And also um, shoes because I don't know about you, and well, Steph will know, but our male friends, they'll ask us what, which shoes to buy for their wives and girlfriends. They always go for shoes. So anyway, I thought I'd show you some sustainable shoes. Also, ladies, if you, again, if you wanna buy yourself some lovely sustainable shoes for this time of year, I've got some incredible finds. Oh, she's already opened the Ombar. Oh, it's, our, oh, it's one of our favorite. So we've got the Ombar Center in Hazelnut Truffle. Don't look at this, Tommy. I can see you eyeing it up. So if one at a time, what's she seen? 
behind this door chocolate. behind this door it says rent a christmas tree so it can be replanted that's, that's cute so it gives you like little tips rent a christmas tree i didn't know you could rent christmas trees well, I think these are going to be Rent? Does it say rent? Yeah, rent a Christmas tree. You can rent a boy. I'm going to look into that for next year. I mean, we don't need one. We always got real trees, but realise that it's just not sustainable at all. So we just got a really good fake tree that we plan to have for the rest of our lives. Pass it down. To the grandkids. <laughs> to our imaginary grandchildren. Tommy. <laughs> do you want to eat this first or do you want to... Here, we'll start with the half. I was gonna say, is the poper when you ask me that question? <laughs> I can't on camera. There you go. <laughs> Happy December the second. Must be the same and the same thing. Yeah. Makes so sense. day two on the hip is oh gingerbread. That's gonna be nice. So I've never tried the gingerbread one. The gingerbread is Colombian oat milk chocolate. Dried gluten-free oat syrup, cacao mass, cacao butter, dried rice powder, sunflower lechafin, lechafin, vanilla, vanilla extract, extract, natural gingerbread flavouring. And a tad of sugar. Which we'd rather not have, but... Have you got yours out? I'm going to be climbing the walls. Should we try them at the same time? I've never had the gingerbread. Tommy's looking over at us like, where is my well pissed off. <laughs> I'll give you something in a minute. Oh, it's hard though, isn't it? Mm. Nice. You know what I like? It's subtle. Mm. I thought it was going to be strong. Mm. I really do fancy like a gingerbread man now. Mm. I don't. Mm. I still um, like them. I'm not a huge fan of like gingerbread chocolate. Like I love ginger, but that's actually really nice. That's nice. And this chocolate reminds me of another chocolate, but I don't know what it is. It's like the thinness and the smoothness. I don't know if it reminds me of the, you know, back in the day, the Marks Spencer chocolate bars, the really thin ones. I don't remember them. I remember the whip ones. Oh. Well, Seth's gonna follow that up with her green juice. <laughs> Wash it down. <laughs> Wash it down. Right, I'm gonna crack on with this unboxing. Are you hanging about? What are you doing? I'm gonna snog Tommy. Right, you go and snog Tommy, and I'm gonna show you guys some really wonderful uh, sustainable jewelry. Dear. I look scary. Um, so I'll start with the jewellery and then I will follow up with the shoes. I've got some some incredible uh, bits. So the brand I want to share with you today is Monica Vinada. Don't know if any of you guys are familiar with this brand. I have found a lot of people are. I'm obviously late to the party, but it's such a great brand. And you know what? These guys, that's Tommy moving if the camera's moving. Bye, Tommy. <laughs> These guys are actually in Vista Village. So if you're heading there, you'll, you'll find some pieces there as well. I actually found uh, the Diamante floating necklace, which you'll find in another vlog. I normally link that for you guys because I get so many questions about this necklace. I got this in Poland from um, a jewellery brand called Crook or K Crook or something like that. I did go in and they did say that they do ship um, worldwide. So I will link the brand for you guys, but I'll also link the Monica Venada one because also it's a more accessible brand and also it's slightly cheaper than this one. So I have a few bits to show you. I've been so excited for this to come because I have been scrolling through their website. Oh, do you know what? Actually, I've actually worn these already. You would have seen them on a reel. But I've been wanting some gold hoop earrings for such a long time. I'm so fussy with jewellery that you probably would have noticed because I literally wear the same jewellery over and over again. I saw these. Let me... and loved them and I put them on and I was like, they are perfect. I don't like, you know, like your classic hoops that are quite thin, they're not, they don't really suit me. So I wanted something a bit more chunky and a bit more closer to the ear. I didn't want it to hang. Also, I'd probably be the person that catches it somewhere and rips my earlobe off. So I'll pop these on for you. Oh, I love them. In fact, I need to wear these more often especially now i just get so lazy like i love this pair this pair 
um i've had four they're just um diamante like triangle like three diamonds i've had these since i was 20 years old and i never take them off i love them so much but i should mix it up a bit so they are the hoops and as you can see they're very classy for hoops i think and that's i think what i was looking for like a classy hoop i love the chunkiness in the bottom of it um it's an easy clasp they don't feel too heavy either so you don't have to worry about your earlobes eventually dragging down but yeah so they're the hoops and i really love them i'll link them below then i have oh i was looking actually for a ring to wrap around this ring here Let's see this ring here so you can see this one underneath is straight. So I wanted one that's sort of wrapped around. And I saw this one. And can you see? It's very delicate. And it wraps around. Um, it has got a gold band. Of course, you have the diamonds at the front. And that works. I just think that I've ordered the wrong size. I have ordered the wrong size. But you can see that's how it would look wrapped around i just need it to fit me because it's moving too much that's so frustrating but i'll swap that around i measured my um my finger but I've clearly done it wrong because i did it with another brand as well and it's come so i've taken my rings off and i can put them together like this so you can see so it would sit like that maybe this stone needs to be rounder Maybe that's too square, but it still works. I still really like it, but I will need to size down. And I think as a gift, that's such a lovely one because I think most people have rings similar to this. Um, and this can be quite a personal thing to buy somebody. But if you bought this band, it just adds to the stack, doesn't it? And would go with anyone's ring. So I really like that one. I also want to show you the boxes that the jewellery comes in. Um, it's really lovely. You've just got simple branding here in gold and the box just slides open like that and inside is the pouch for the jewellery. I thought there was nothing in there. This is so delicate that... Oh yes, so you would have noticed that I love really dainty. So this is the, can you believe, the same bracelet. Was it Mallorca? I think it was Mallorca um, and I got this for £12 it's not real but it has stayed the same and I wear this to death it's constantly on my wrist but basically I wanted another very delicate um, bracelet to add in with this and I saw this one it's absolutely beautiful it's so delicate it's so delicate I want to show you um, the design of the chain yeah you can see it there you can see how delicate that is and it's very simple, especially if you have other ones like this, or even if you wear like chunkier bracelets with your watch, this would just look really nice next to it. I do think that I've ordered this too small, but I do have really small wrists. Okay, so it does fit, um, but I wanted a bit more hang to it. But actually coming to think of it, I don't want it to hang too much because then it would get entangled with my other one. This may have just worked out for me. I'll move this one down here, but just to show you, it's so subtle, but I really love jewellery that's like this. So if you like this sort of thing, or you know anyone else that would do, then oh, it's beautiful. It's so beautiful. I'll link this below. I don't know if I should get a size up, but I do like how it's quite snug, because it would get... No, I do quite like that. So happy with that one. I don't know what else to do, because I don't wear a watch. I don't wear a watch because I don't, I don't want to look at the time, basically. I'm on my time. Time revolves around me. I don't revolve around the time. Is that a weird thing? Does anyone else do that? Like, I have my phone if I really need to know. Maybe I just have never seen a watch that's got me like that. But I've never really been the type of person that wears watches, to be honest. Never. I think maybe because I... Um, I lost a very important watch that my grandmother, my bupcha, the same one that owned that swan behind me, before she died, um, literally, I think it was a year or two before, she was adamant, whenever I went to Poland, that I go and find 
a watch and she wants to buy it for me and i was like no 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 it's fine i don't i don't need one she'd be like no you have to go it doesn't matter what it costs i want you to have a really beautiful watch on your wrist and she'd go on and on and on and i would just be like yeah yeah whatever um and then one day she sat me down and she said i'm laughing but it's not funny um she sat me down and um well it's not that it's not funny but it's i suppose you should just think of these memories with fondness i suppose i suppose that's what i'm doing otherwise i will end up crying um but she sat me down and she said when i die um i cry when i die <sighs> well that's unexpected isn't it when i die every time you look at your wrist to look at the time you'll remember me you'll see my face and i was like i'll never forget you i'll always think of you um but it was really very sweet and um so when she went so when she said that i went and started looking for a watch and i found a really beautiful burberry um watch in poland and it was really lovely it had black leather straps and it was rectangle and it had like a white whitish maybe cream background and i absolutely loved it and then one day in italy i lost it and i've been so upset ever since i was like if i ever ever have a watch then i'll only have that one but of course it's that watch is about 20 25 years old so yeah i have a search on ebay for that watch but it never comes up um and i would just like to say i don't think it was all my fault because three days before that i went and had the straps redone by burberry because they were just wearing and they'd been replaced so i don't know if something was loose and it dropped off and i just didn't realize and then when i did obviously i checked in the places that i thought it would be but it wasn't there but anyway moving on and also my battery's about to die so i'm going to quickly change my battery and show you the last few pieces sorry about that i suppose the battery went perfect time so i could sort myself out <laughs> wipe my wipe my tears wipe those tears um so anyway moving on i have another ring here and this was actually my gift to stefania so we're talking about gifting and i love gifting and i saw this and i thought stefania will love this she is obsessed with pearls so this is a tiny tiny little pearl and then you'll see the um actual ring has like a twisting design to it again it's so very stefania so i got this for her i'll show you what it looks like on and i'll give it to her <laughs> there we are isn't that beautiful again so dainty so dainty and for anybody that loves pearls this is ideal i find with these pieces as well um they just look so expensive they're so well priced very affordable for the quality you're getting but i feel like they look so much more expensive and a piece like this actually looks vintage i think i don't know if you agree with me but steph I have something for you it's better than chocolate a man <laughs> it's better than a man a square you thought open it come around here so you can open it we can see your reaction monica vinegar this is posh oh oh oh, oh. This is nice. It's for you. Is it for me? Yeah. Is it the 25th of December already? Or you're getting it early. It's the 24th. It's for you. Is it? Yeah. Because you like pearls and you like oh, my hands vintage all... and you like twisty things. Look. Stefania unfortunately suffers with um, cracking hands. Her hands get really dry and then crack and bleed. Um, and she's suffering this, suffering with this for quite a few years now. And when she thinks that she's worked it out it happens again so please not wearing marigolds so please um don't judge her don't hands. judge my hands to be fair i've shown them i've shown them it already on my hand it makes the hands look better that's really nice yeah is it's, it for me yeah thanks you're welcome <laughs> merry early christmas thanks that's yours oh, i love it i've got to be careful with it it's yours you can do what you want i mean be careful because it's a nice bit of jewelry so i have one more piece to show you and this one isn't for you. Actually, Thank I don't. You. I actually can't remember what it I is. I got a present. Where yeah, did I put the thing? Is this it? Yeah, that's yours. And you get a box as well. Keep it I don't safe. know which one's empty. Oh, oh, I got another. So you can see I've got a bit of an obsession with these um, thin bracelets, but I'm getting them tiny. I mean, I got a present. That looks like 
it's for a baby. My goodness. Again, so it's one of these um, very, very fine, dainty bra bracelets that I love. But this one has a tiny diamond in the middle of it. Can you see? And the reason I got this, I now remember, is because this one here that I got in Mallorca is not real. And I was worried at the time that it was going to like get rusty and break. So this was the reason I purchased this other one basically. But again, I've got it, I've completely messed up my sizing, but I suppose this happens when um, it's the first time shopping. But actually again, God, I have really small wrists. <laughs> I have really small wrists because they fit. And when I take them out of the packaging, I'm like, oh God, no. So again, this is perfect on me. There's no hang on it, which I actually quite like because they're so dainty that I would be worried that they would tangle in with each other. So that actually works really, really well. So you can see I've got both of them on there. This is the one with the diamond and this is the plain one. And then obviously this is my old one. I have a bit more detail on my wrist. Like I said, I don't wear a watch. So I feel like this works really, really well. So that's all the jewelry. I will link that all below for you. Um, have a look at their website because there's so many incredible, incredible pieces that would be such lovely gifts, like incredible. If I have a discount code, I may have a discount code. I'll have a look. Um, if I do, I'll link that below for you. Oh, I've forgotten something. There's a Monica Vinada bag here. And inside, I love this. Now, if you're looking for a really lovely gift for somebody that adores their jewellery and needs to look after it a bit better, then this case is just beautiful. And you can see... I've had it personalized. So I've got AR there and you do that on the website. It's so easy. I love the zip detailing. It's almost a piece of jewelry in itself, isn't it? Such a nice detail. And this is the smallest one they do. The Monica Venada branding is just there, which is lovely. They do other sizes. They also do other shapes. I like black as we all know. And I wanted something that was quite compact so I can travel with it. And this one's also hard. My stackers one, it's flat and isn't hard. That's great as well, but I wanted something just a bit more harder as well. I've got some pearls in here randomly. I must've put them in, but this is the inside of the jewelry case. You've got a place for your rings. You've got some areas of space that you can pop things in. I'm guessing this is for earrings. So those pearls should be in here, but I am going to um, fill this up with my jewellery after I film this video. I've been looking forward to do that. You know when you get something like this? I think this happens to people that love being organised because when I get things like this, all I want to do is just sit there organising it. But anyway, this comes in many other colours if you do prefer a colour. And yeah, I'll link that all below for you. Such fabulous gifts. Now I'm going to move on to some shoes. So this is a mix between Aloha's and Emu. If you don't know any of the brands, Aloha's is a sustainable brand. They do sustainable leather and they also do sustainable vegan. So there's two choices. If you prefer not to do leather at all, then you can go straight for their vegan shoes. But if you do prefer leather, then it is sustainable leather. So I will start with a pair of those. So this is how the box comes. I love the packaging. Of course, it's simple, um, it's recyclable, and then you've got very simple branding there. It's very chic. And again, if you gift this and somebody opens that, it's a great start, isn't it? So this pair, I got quite a few pairs to be honest because, oh, this is a pair of trainers. So I wanted to show you the boots first, but I'll show you the trainers first. So if you're looking for or want to buy somebody a plain pair of white trainers, then these are just amazing. They are incredible. They look so expensive. They remind me a little bit of the Alexander McQueen ones, I think they were, that everyone loved back in the day, but these are all white. They have a great solid sole, completely plain, with just a tiny bit of branding in gold, just there. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. So simple, so chic. The inside is this gorgeous tan color, which I love as well. They're just so good. So, I mean, I know, well, actually, a lot of people do actually still wear white trainers in the winter. I personally don't because I like my white trainers to stay white and crisp. But if you're not, then obviously you'll be interested in this right now. If not, then of course you can grab them now. So she went all the sales are on and um, have them ready for the warmer months ahead. Then I have another box similar of size. 
which is why I got confused. Now, I needed a pair of ankle boots, black ankle boots, plain, and I saw these. These are called the West Total Black. They're my size, so stick true to your size because the sizing is perfect. I actually didn't tell you the name of these. These are called the Apple Bright White Trainer. You'll find that they have um, several different styles and they normally are North, East, South and West. You'll find that with a lot of their boots. So the ankle boots will have North, East, South and West. The knee boots have the same. They come in several colorways. So have a look to see if there's a colorway you prefer if you don't really, really like to wear black or need them. Look at those. So firstly, the length of the ankle part is just perfect. Normally they can be a bit short, which I find quite unflattering. I feel like this longer length elongates the leg. You've also got a fantastic block heel. I love a block heel because I can walk in them all day. It means I can wear a pair of heels, feel comfortable and feel really dressed up. Then it has a gorgeous square toe, which I really love. They have done that beautifully. The zip is on the inside, which I like. I'm not a fan of zips on the outside of the shoe. The hardware is gold, and then the pull part is just in the same leather black. And with the Lohas, they all have this detail around the sole that slightly comes out. So that's when you know it's an Aloha's boot. But my goodness, do you know what? I'll pop me here. Oh, I'll scooch over. Ow, my knee. Um, I'll pop me here wearing them so you can see what they look like on. So that's the ankle boot I got. And then I got a knee heeled boot because I just really, every time I went out in the autumn winter, I was always going to grab a pair of shoes like this, but I didn't have them. They didn't exist in my wardrobe. So of course you can see the box is a lot bigger, but it's the same box. This shoe is called the East Corn in black again my size i'm a size 6 eu 39 and in the U us i think i'm an eight and a half or a nine so that's my sizing these are very actually similar to the ankle boot i just showed you but look at these they're very very similar the only different bit i would say is the sole part is can you see it's not like jet black it has like this grain to it and is almost a touch brownie. But again, the same block heel. I love a good block heeled boot. Um, the square toe, they've got that so perfect. They really do. Sometimes they can look a bit chunky. The zip is on the inside again. The same detailing with the hardware. And of course, goes up to your knee. What I will say with this boot is the way that they have shaped this and allowed enough room is so flattering it's not like sagging in any kind of way it doesn't make your leg look misproportioned you know some boots can like i don't know i'm very particular uh, but this just sits so wonderfully you can easily pop a pair of bless you a pair of jeans in this no problem yeah there's a perfect amount of space basically is what i'm saying so yeah that's the boot uh, again i'll pop them here so you can see me wearing them. And then lastly, this is more of a autumn over winter shoe. So it's a smaller box, same box. And this one is called the Kais, K-A-I-S in black. Again, my size. Now this shoe, I actually picked up a similar one in Luka. I don't know if you guys remember in my one of my shopping vlogs last year in Luka. I've got the most beautiful um sh leather shoe in this style but i saw these with the like open heel and i thought oh my goodness because i love those other shoes i wear them to death and i don't want to get to the point where i've worn them too much i thought let me have a slightly different style but almost the same and i can sort of flip between them and again it's a good way of wearing this type of leather shoe in the warmer months because you know sometimes they can get a bit stuffy it's again the perfect shape i mean look how well the shoes are crafted the shape here it's so flattering you have the gold or more brass hardware here which they've done perfectly i find sometimes with these sort of buckles they can look a little bit chunky i'm not into chunky hardware so it's a lot finer even this detailing here is beautiful 
this piping. Can you see? And of course it's a flat shoe, open at the back. Absolutely love them and I can't wait to wear them. So those in the trainers will have to be stored away until next year. I have one more thing I wanna show you. Now I get so many questions about where what we like to call UGG boots are from. But of course, I, I, don't, I don't know if UGG is a sustainable brand. I will need to look into it, but there is a brand that is doing it sustainably and it's called Emu Australia. So for those of you that are asking, this is the sustainable version of your cozy boots for the winter. And I know not everyone is into that UGG boot styling, but for me, it's not even about what it looks like. It's the warmth and comfort. I'm the coldest person. I like feeling comfortable and I like feeling cozy and warm. I've always had a pair of these every year I wear them. And the minute that they get a bit scruffy, I will either put them in the like walking cupboard. I've left a pair in Italy. I've left a pair in Poland. I They will last forever. I have a pair that I think, I'm not joking, maybe 20 years old. And they're fine. They've just discolored slightly because they were black. Yeah, but I've still got them. So yeah, so basically I wanted a um, tan pair and actually, with the Ugg boots, I find the tan colour is slightly yellowy, I would say. The emu ones, however, look at that beige shade that they have got for their shoe. Oh, God, I can't wait to wear these. I can't wait to wear these. So if you didn't think there was a sustainable Ugg boot brand, then I've answered your question. This is the branding on the back. Again, quite similar to Ugg, to be honest. The sole is really nice. I actually think it's got a really lovely shape and the inside is nice and soft, of course. So if you're looking for a pair of these, then I highly recommend you get them for yourself. And if you wanna gift them, this I think is one of the best gifts you can give somebody at this time of year. Have I ever opened a Christmas present and had Uggs? I haven't, no, but I'd be so happy if somebody gifted me some Uggs because I just think there's nothing better if you live in a cold country. They of course do these in black, grey, I think there's some other colours. I think they also do like croc style ones, sandals. I'm not sure but head to their website, I will link these below for you. So you have the exact ones I have. But just for reference they're called Stinger Mini. So they're the actually the smallest in height. I did want a pair that were ultra mini like that but they don't do them. But I am going to write to them and ask very politely if they may maybe consider it for next year and the color is chestnut so that yeah that is the color isn't it it's like this chestnutty beige over that like yellow beige which would go with my wardrobe so much better like even with this jumper it's that just more toned down and i feel like they look more luxe than than the normal beige Uggs. that's just how i feel i'm just on their website just having a look they have the um slippers that are similar to my rev ones so if you don't want the rev ones then emu do the, the the cute little slipper that's called the jolie they also have the platform ones they've got earmuffs if you wanted some cozy earmuffs oh they do do color there's a barbie barbie version so i'm wrong about that oh is that this oh they do have sting and what they do have a shorter one i didn't see that so it's called stinger micro I might have to get those. Maybe I'll have to swap them. They obviously do black. Oh, they do like a cozy teddy. That's really nice, isn't it? With a cozy white teddy jacket. That would be quite a cute outfit. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it helped with your gift giving or even if you just need to get some bits for yourself. I am gonna crack on with my day. I have to actually go out in this cold weather to shoot some outfits so wish me luck <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe those of you that are not subscribing please remember to do so and i will pop my instagram handle here is at honestly alessandra and i'll see you tomorrow